Decades ago, I learned not to take my history from the cinema. Movies are designed to make you feel good. It's escapism from the real world. History, on the other hand, is not designed to make you feel good. A good number of black Americans in the United States today, and possibly even Europe for all I know, are enthralled, just titillated, with the pending release of this movie Black Panther. According to the rash of, oh my God, it's wonderful tweets on Twitter, it's about time a movie came along that made us feel rich and good about ourselves. Poppycock. First of all, let me, uh, let me state this. Black Americans are among, if not the richest black people collectively on the planet Earth. We have more wealth, we have more freedom, we have more power. Yet we cling to this notion that somehow we need the cinema to make us feel good about ourselves, to make us feel good about Africa. Hands down, the United States is far, far ahead of Africa. Instead of being all twirled up about a fantasy movie from Marvel comic books, perhaps black America and liberal white America might take a look at what's happening in Libya this very moment, that black people are being sold, bartered, like chips at a roulette table. And not a peep, not a word about black oppression, real black oppression, not black oppression in the 1800s in the United States, but black oppression in romanticized Africa, North Africa, the oppression culturally and politically in Southern Africa. No, we're just going to whirl and twirl ourselves into a silly state of elation over this coming bit of cinema, Black Panther. I think that's very pathetic of us.